Okay, welcome to my final match of season 16 Handy Dominion League against she can't say no also now known as SCSN, right? So this is this match came directly after my match with Steph. So yeah, I was a bit tired after that match because it took close to three hours to play him. I'm just trying to sort out why this giant A is above the screen. Something is wrong with my caps lock, but it'll go away soon enough, not to worry. And then you can see the screen much more clearly. Anyways, the board, right? The board isn't really too complicated or difficult to play. You buy a lot of hunting parties. Uh, you have a forager for plus buy in your deck. And you get an outpost and a lot of money. And that is the end of it, really. You may get a warehouse if you like. Wishing Wells help. Uh, you could use Nomad Camp for your plus buy if you want. But, uh, I mean, if you use Monument for your terminal... Instead of the Nomad Camp, you get a little bit of chip points, which might be significant near the end of the game, right? So how do you open? Well, I mean, you could go Wishing Well Monument. That has a decent chance of getting you to 5. You could go with the Forager to start trashing right away. Or you could go like Warehouse Monument. That gets you to 5 very, very nicely. If you have 4-3 like me, you could open with the Nomad Camp and just try to go for hunting party straight away and maybe that is good enough because even if you miss hunting party you have four you could pick up warehouse you could pick up forager i do think you want a forager to start off so i i'm leaning towards forager silver at this point out of all of these options here uh, which is not a factor that's just money from forager and rabble doesn't a single rabble doesn't really do much so I go for the Monument on my forehead over the Nomad Camp because, like I said, I want that to be my one terminal after I play Outpost. So, And it's also silver, right? And I can't collide with anything because Forager is nice like that. So maybe I could get to 5 uh, with the Forager Monument opening. Although I feel like Warehouse and Wishing Well, with, paired with the Monument, had a better chance of doing so. But I think the trashing is important. Anyway, my opponent just trashes a, an estate here. So not too hot of a turn for them. I'm going to pick up a second Forager here over a Silver or a Wishing Well. I want to get Thin quickly. I thought that was important. And my opponent is able to get a Hunting Party turn 4. So I'm not able to get my Hunting Party. I, get, I draw double 4 here. So a bit less lucky than my opponent. But uh, maybe I can catch up somehow. Right? My opponent plays their Hunting Party and the Forager and gets another hunting party. So 2-0 to my opponent on the hunting party split. I'm still here with 4 coins by the way. Uh, this time I go for a wishing well. I should be fairly reliable now that the estates are gone from my deck. Just guess copper and then you could guess hunting parties. By the way 3-0 for my opponent on the hunting party split. And I'm finally able to join him here. So we are 3-1 after playing this monument. Picking up the hunting party. So v3-1 here, I'm very much behind and I need my opponent to stall at some point for me to catch up a bit. But that is not happening, the hunting party is out here. And drawing through, cycling, finding the forager, always thinning, getting the monument down, 7 this time. And uh, this time my opponent does not pick up a hunting party, goes for a gold, which is, I mean, fine, you give up one hunting party now to potentially buy two down the road. So that's reasonable, and they are leading the split 3 to, to 1, right? Not 3 to 2 now, but still leading the split. So maybe there's hope for me yet, if my opponent could just have a handful of coppers at some point and allow me to catch up, but it isn't going to happen. And picking up a platinum here, again over a hunting party. So giving up 1 now to buy 2 later seems fine to me. Um... I'm able to play my hunting party. I believe this is the first time here. And the wishing well pulls through, so that's good. Good draw. Going to a thinner copper here just so that my hunting party finds the other forager so I could continue trashing. So there was some thought to me trashing the silver first there to make my second forager worth more, but I decided to hold up on that play a little bit. Just um maybe next turn I could do that. Trash one silver and then one copper to make the foragers worth more. Anyways. Across the table, we have 13 and 2 buys. So, um, you could do 
like double hunting in particular, another platinum if you like, platinum wishing well, platinum warehouse, I'm not sure, but I think what my opponent ends up going for at this point is the outpost and a hunting party. So well and truly ahead, and really at this point in the game is really just one way traffic, right? I'm just playing catch up for a very very long time and can't do so. I stay in the game because maybe my opponent will stall and with the low piles, I don't know, maybe something could happen. So the outpost is bought there along with another hunting party. I'm just going to keep going with the hunting parties here. And another wishing well just to supplement the draw. Maybe silver is better there because I don't really need to supplement any draw. And it's food for my forager. 11 for, for my opponent is a pair of hunting parties and the outpost turn kicks off right away. Drawing through the entire deck and coming up with uh, even larger amounts of money at this point. 13 and 2 buys. Uh, just going for a platinum and a wishing well at this point. So this is very well played by my opponent. They make um, full use of the deck available to them here. Going for double colony turns, not stopping at the single colony. Um, right, so the turns are very straightforward here. Right? You play hunting party. I make that play here where I trash the silver to the forager to make my subsequent foragers worth more. I mean, that's the one advantage I do have. I have a second forager, so let me try to use it, right? So I lose the split 6-4, uh, but my opponent is way, way, way ahead. <laughs> In money, I have 10, now I can get my um, outpost if I like, but I think I prefer the platinum at this point. Not that any of these decisions matter, just staying in it for the formality. This is a terrible hand and I need to wish for hunting party for it to stay alive. But I believe here, right on the outpost, my opponent has 17 and goes for a platinum, another platinum. I mean, why not, right? Just buy all the platinum, no big deal. They could go colony and gold or something, but they already have the gold. They don't need a second gold, much rather by platinum. 18 would have probably been like a snap double platinum. But instead, um, platinum wishing well and the outpost turn yields them a platinum. So this is my last turn of the game because on the next turn my opponent is going to quad colony. Which is an impressive feat, so you could see that if you like. Uh, but uh, And after that I resign because... There's no coming back from Quad Colony, I think, on this board. So, thanks for watching. Quick game one here. And see you in the next one.